I was within blocks of the fertilizer plant. I can tell you that the devastation was tremendous in some areas. There are some homes that were actually leveled. There were fires burning when I came into the area about 10 o'clock last night, roughly. Um, it, it, I described the damage earlier as almost as in tornadic damage. One house was devastated, the next house had broken glass. Didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. A lot of that is probably from the concussion of the blast, which was massive. It was just a big boom. Everything went black immediately. Um, sheet rock and insulation came falling out of the ceilings. All the ceilings are falling down. Um, uh, the windows are blown out, the doors, um, the garages are damaged. We thought it was our house only blew up. And when we got outside, we saw it was the whole neighborhood. And you could see the black smoke, uh, the, um, uh, the debris, little fine debris floating through the air, the odor from the plant. Uh, people were panicking, uh, some, not, not a lot. Uh, then we were, uh, somebody on the street said we needed to get out, out, out of that neighborhood because there could be another explosion. I left in nothing but a pair of pajama bottoms and a cut-off t-shirt. <laughs> I just grabbed coats out of our closets and walked in here and walked in the hotel because I didn't know where to go. And they said, yeah, we're, so 40 minutes ago this was empty. Very close-knit um, and, you know, we're, there's lots of relatives here and we, we take care of one another. We, like it's been said, we're self-sufficient and we'll, we'll pull together and um, it's a horrible tragedy, but, you know, this is the kind of thing that we do.